Maybe you should disappear for a while. Sometimes people are struggling with things in life and they work really, really hard to try to solve their problems. And it feels like the more you push, the more you try, the more everything goes wrong. You know, the harder things get. And it feels like nothing's working. You know, I'm sure you've been there where you have a situation, maybe it's a relationship, maybe it is a class you're taking in college or high school, maybe it's a problem at work. And no matter what, it just gets worse. And, and you just can't seem to win. And then when you finally think you have it figured out, something else happens, you know? And it's just like you can't get a break. It's like that old 80s song where the guy says, some guys have all the luck or something like that, you know? Maybe you feel like that singer. Like everyone else has it good, except you. And I think sometimes the answer is to let go, is to disappear for a while. Go into the solitude, go into nature, go into silence and embrace it, embrace the solitude. There is a peace that you can find by being alone, a peace that you can find when you're away from society, from the cars, from the traffic, from the hustle and bustle, from the deadlines, from the relationship drama, from the job stress, whatever it is that's plaguing you, my friends, sometimes when you return to your roots as a human being, connect with nature, with, with, with the birds, When you disappear, your problems, they might not go away, or they might, but at least you'll feel better about them when you return to society, because you'll have to return. The reality is we have to work, we have to be a part of society Disappear. Take some time for yourself. Go for a walk in nature. Find a park near you where you can be in nature. Be by the water. Be by the trees. You know, when you look at animals in nature, nature is savage. You know, animals will eat each other. I've seen horrible things. Things that animals do to each other that humans certainly don't because we have you know a moral compass but animals will devour each other but at the same time there is a beauty in it there is a purity because for them it's just survival for us we have a choice and so when you return to nature you kind of return to that purity Hopefully not to the savagery. I'm not saying you start, you know, <laughs> being like the animals, but embrace the purity. Embrace the nature. Return to your roots. And it will heal your body. It will heal your mind. It will heal your soul. And those problems that you've been pushing against, you know, the more you push, the more you fight sometimes, well, it's called pushback for a reason, right? When, you, when you're when you trying something and it doesn't work, 
maybe you should stop trying if you're getting a lot of pushback. You know, like if you're at work and, and you're, you're dead on some idea and you know it's a good idea and you know the system's broken, you know the bureaucracy is just garbage and you're sick of it, you're sick of the politics, or maybe you're in a relationship and it's toxic and your partner is just not getting it, they're not listening. Take a step back, disappear. Go into nature alone. Make sure you come back. Go somewhere safe, don't go too far. Enjoy what the earth has to give. And I think it will heal you. I think it will make you better. One of the problems is, you know, we live in a world where everyone has a computer, which is good. It means you can watch this video if you choose to. But we are desensitized from the real world. This, this, is, this is the real world. This is it right here. This is the world we live in. Right here. But for many of us, we don't experience this world. Because we're inside all the time. We're in front of our computers. We're reading internet gossip. Internet hate. Internet garbage. News. You can read any news article about anything and it's always something dramatic or someone attacking someone else. It's all just negativity, all of it. It doesn't matter what the news source is. It's all for show, it's all for clicks. It's all for money, right? People want clicks, they want money. It's all contrived. This is the real world. And this is where you need to return to if you want to heal yourself and if you want a better life. And that was a mosquito on my leg. That is the consequence of nature. Normally there's no bugs here because it's fairly cold. I don't know what it was, but I'm wearing shorts. And so I think it was, uh, no, it wasn't a mosquito. I think it was a fly, a very large one. But that's part of nature. That's something that you know, I flinched. Why did I flinch? Because I'm part of the world, the internet world. I am from the internet. So this for me is a return to the real world, a return to where we all need to be, my friends. If you enjoyed this content, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. This is not a very popular channel, but I like making content for the few subscribers that I do have here. There's very few. There's a couple loyal ones though. Thank you, my friends. As always, stay strong.